Hello everyone. How are you doing out here? I hope you are doing great. My name is Rafi Yaku from Excel Graphics Studio. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do 100 text effect in Corel Draw. And before we get the tutorial started, I would like to appreciate all my subscribers in this channel for making it to the 100. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for your subscribe. So let's get the tutorial started. Alright people, in this tutorial, we're going to use Corel Hex 7. Before we start the 100 text effect, the first thing we have to do is to create a new page. So let's go to File. When you click on File, you select New. Having select New then, from the name, you type it, your, the name of your design, that is Appreciation. Appreciation text effect in Corel. That's the title of my design. Then the width of the design is going to be 1280 by 720. Alright. Then the color is uh, RGB, color mode RGB. Then the resolution is 300. So after you set the uh, page then you click on OK all right to see the entire document that we just created all we have to do is to go to our tools bar click on the zoom tool pick the minus having done that you can see that this is the entire document of our design next Go to the rectangle tool, double click on it to create a page border. After that, the next thing you are going to do is to go to Eclipse Tools, click on the Eclipse Tools, press down your shift key, normal click and drag to draw a perfect uh, circle. Having done that, you press P to centralize your circle. Next, go to the last edge of the circle. Press down your shift key, normal click and drag in to duplicate the circle. Then place it with your right click. Next, press down your shift key and pick the second circle. Right, press Ctrl G to group the circle. So the object has become one now. Next, I need a guardian ruler. Go to the menu bar and pick your guardian ruler. Next, click on the object. I want to resize it. Shift key and drag in. All right. Okay. So go to the pick tool. I want to adjust the ruler in line with the object. Next, go to the object. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And now place it beside the one after the other. All right. Press down your shift key and pick the second object. The two become highlighted, then click this group to and group them together. Press P to centralize it. Next, I need a one symbol. How do I do that? I have to go to my freehand tools and select pen tools. Having select pen tools, then now sketch the one. Press down your shift key to draw the perfect straight line, then double click it to get the exactly one you want. So now I have the straight line one object. Next, I have to go back to my menu bar, pick the heart line and increase it to let me try 20. Okay. Five. Still don't like the size. I increase it to thirty. All right. Now, this circle now I have to do some things there. Ungroup it. And then go back to your tools bar and pick your smart object tools. Then you fill the objects. 
right so next go back to your pick tools then you have to group them all together shift e and pick the second object shift e and pick this one then go back to your menu bar and choose your wedge next click on this stop yet and shift key plus this one and go back to your menu bar and select your wedge all right shift key then select your wedge so we have the object connect together now the next thing is to take away the outline of the object press the shift key and click on the second object go back to your color palette right click on this shape and all the outline color will be automatically taken away the next thing i'm going to do now is to color the object so i'm giving this one orange and this one i'm coloring it with uh, let me see blue then finally okay i have to color this one also Making something right click on it to update the, the color next you have to color the background so the background color i'm giving this design is black all right so i need to increase this one also i have to increase the one width go back to the heart line width then 540 press enter so that's increasing to one so far so good then i light everything together like this shift key and click on the objects click on group then press p to centralize them shift key and drag it out something like this press p to centralize and stick it up ungroup it you see this one have to adjust to be in line with the other object so far so good this is the best way i can show my appreciation of 100 subscribers to all people that subscribe me this channel i say a big thank you to all my subscribers thanks for making it hundred press ctrl here to highlight then now so select the so I'm using the numbers okay numbers then top needs to Reduce the font size of the displays using white text. So thank you all for making it to for making it hundred. I really appreciate your subscribe so far, and don't forget to continue to subscribe to this channel. I'm bringing in more and uh, useful tutorial future thanks for watching see you soon bye